Hey guys, so as you can tell from the title of this video, this is my makeup collection. I'm just going to get right into the video because I look a hot mess, so I'm not even going to do an intro. We're just going to start the video. So right first, I'm going to start where I have my brush holders. These are two glass jar brush holders that I got from AC Moore and from... Uh, I believe Michaels and this one just holds all of my big face brushes and this one just holds all of my eye brushes and then I have my tweezers right here for easy access you can probably get these at any craft store honestly um I've seen them everywhere and then right next to it I just have my little remote control that controls my vanity light if you guys saw my room tour then you know my van vanity setup if you guys didn't see it I will leave a link down below for you guys to check it out okay and then coming down here I have my original beauty box and I got this for Christmas a year or two ago and I absolutely love it. It, hold, it holds all of my makeup that I need on a daily basis. It's a lot easier putting everything I use daily in here than inside my Alex drawers so that I don't have to go rummaging through them to find what I need. They're just all right here laid out for me and it's see-through so I can see which drawer contains what. I absolutely love it. It's sturdy and it's huge. So if you guys want to check it out and get one yourself, I will leave the link down below. I highly recommend one of these, especially if you want to keep everything very organized on top of your vanity. So going into the first drawer, I have all of my lip liners and then some of my eyeliners. In here, I have Kylie lip liners. I have MAC lip liners. I have NYX lip liners. And then over here, I have some eyeliners. I have my NYX eyeliner some Smashbox colorful eyeliners, my NARS white eyeliner, and then I have a Kiko lip liner and some Giordani lip liners all over here. And then in the second drawer, I have my go-to primers and foundations and moisturizers. I actually haven't used this primer yet. I got it for Christmas from my cousin. I just keep it in here to remind myself to try it out. I want to do a first impressions and review video on it. It's the Laura Geller Makeup Primer. I swatched it and it came out really good, so I'm really excited to use this in a video. So I just keep it here to remind myself that I need to do a video on that. And then I have my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick, which I absolutely love. I'm actually running low. As you guys can see, look at that. So I need to go pick up another one because this is my go-to holy grail. Like, this is the only thing I'm using right now. And then over here, I have my Makeup Forever Step 1 um, Base Correcting Primer. I haven't been using this a lot, so I think I'm going to put it with the rest of my primers. I will show you guys in a little bit what I've been using um, recently. But yeah, that just goes in there. And then I have my Belief Aqua Moisturizer right here that I put on before I put on my primer and foundation. And then I have my Clinique Moisturizer. It's actually empty. I just keep it in here to remind myself that I need to buy a new one. And then we come over to this side and I have all of my concealers. And I know you're probably like, if this is a daily like basis like container, why do you have so many concealers? And it's pretty much because it depends on what look I'm going for and what I want to use. Some of these are heavy concealers and some are very light concealers. Some I use on my face and some I only use on my eyebrows. So that's in here. This I've been using every day though, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I absolutely love it. Um, I also really like the Makeup Forever HD for my eyebrows. And I like this, um, the Maybelline Better Skin, a lot for underneath my eyebrows to clean them up. And I use this all over my face sometimes, the Urban Decay Naked Skin. So yeah, it just really depends on the day and what look I'm going for. I use all of these. And then back here I have some eye primers. I have the Lorac Shadow Base Primer. And I have the Too Faced Glitter Glue, Glitter Glue Primer. So that's there. And then in the third drawer, I have my go-to eyebrow products, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Dark Brown. And I also have the Powder Duo in Dark Brown. I keep some scissors here to cut my lashes. I have all of my lash glues, some mascaras, my go-to mascara lately, which is the L'Oreal Voluminous. I also have the um, Benefit uh, Their Real Mascara. I have the big one, and I also have the little one for my uh, lower lashes. And then over here on this section, I have lip products. I have the Santa's Lip Scrub from Lush. I also have the Nicole Guerrero Best Damn Beauty Lip Mask. I absolutely love this. I use it every night with my Aquaphor, actually. Double the moisture. And then I have the Milani um, Scrub, which I also use on a daily basis, especially in the winter months. This really helps my chapped lips. And then I have my lip liner sharpener. 
And then in the last drawer here, I just have my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette, which I actually hit pan on my favorite shade, as you can see. So I'm going to need to go out and buy the refill for this. I have my MAC Fix Plus, and then I have the baby version and the mama version of the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, my two all-time favorite setting sprays. Okay, and now starting in my Alex drawers, in the first drawer I have foundations, primers, more concealers and liquid highlighters, powders and such. So we'll start with this container right here. And the containers I actually just got from Amazon, Walmart, and Target. This one back here I got from Target. These two I got from Amazon and this one I got from Walmart. So here I just have, like I said, a bunch of foundations. I have my um, oldie but goodie, the Cogendo Aqua Foundation. I have my Holy Grail that I go to all the time besides the Makeup Forever foundation stick. I love this one, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. Absolutely love this one. I have the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2 in 1. I haven't been able to use this one yet because it's too dark for me, so I'm waiting till I get tan and then I will try it out. Um, another one of my favorites is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting. Love this one for dry skin. Um, as you can see, I've put this one through hell and back. It's pretty much almost empty. I need a new one. I love this one at one point. I was using it for like a year straight. The L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur. I love this one. I need a new one, especially in my skin tone. I think this one's a little bit too dark for me. I have some BB creams. I have the Dior Glow Maximizer. I love this for the summertime to mix with my foundation. I also have a Laura Geller foundation down there. I haven't tried this one yet. I know I'm late, but I do still want to try it. The L'Oreal Lumi Cushion. I may do a review and tutorial on it, even though I know it's really old and a lot of people already have. I still want to try it out. Um, and then I have this one, which is my go-to in the summertime, the Urban Decay Naked Skin. I love this one. I wear this one to the beach all the time. And then down there, I just have a MAC Pressed Powder. I usually use this to set my face. And then on the side here, I just have my Beauty Blenders and an extra RCMA powder. And then in this one, I have a bunch of primers. This is actually the primer I've been using on a daily basis now. Um, I should put this one in the beauty box instead. It's the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. I love this one. I have two baby beauty blenders in here. I'm actually going to be doing a full face using only drugstore makeup. So I actually picked up these two primers to try out during that video. It's going to be like a first impressions review video also since I'm pr pretty much using all new products. So I got these two primers to try out. So you'll see what I think of them in that video. I have the Benefit Air P um, Patrol primer for my eyes. I have the Benefit Pore Professional. And then over here, I have some liquid highlighters and concealers. I have the Maybelline Age Rewind. This is another one I'll be trying out in the drugstore video. It's the NYX Concealer. It kind of reminds me when I swatched it of the NARS Custard Concealer. I have this to contour with. It is the Maybelline Fit Me in Cocoa. Um, I have the Revlon Photo Ready Skin Light, the liquid highlighter. I also have the L'Oreal True Match Lumi liquid highlighter. And then I just have this small benefit stick that is also a highlighter. Okay, and then back here I just have some powders. Okay, and then in here, the powders, I have the Laura Mercier power powder. I have some Ben Nye Neutral Set Powder, my Airspun. This is another one I will be trying out in the drugstore makeup tutorial. It is the Maybelline Master Fix Translucent Powder. And then this has been my go-to. This is pretty much all I use now to set my face. It is the RCMA powder. As you can see, I'm already almost done, which is why I had to get a second one. So yeah, these are all my powders. Going into the second drawer now. Second drawer is pretty much all of my blushes, highlighters, bronzers, and some eye products. So I got these containers actually from Amazon. I will link these down below also for you guys. So in this container, I pretty much have all of my highlighters. I have my Mary Lou Luminizer highlighter. I have my Milani Strobe Light. I'm pretty sure this is the Afterglow or, yeah, Afterglow. I have my, what is this one? I have my Champagne Pop from Becca. I have Opal from Becca. I just got MAC Oh Darling, finally. They made it permanent, so I went out and got it. I'm so happy. I highly recommend this highlighter for anyone and everyone. It is so gorgeous. 
And then I have the LA Girl Strobe Light Strobing Powder in 100. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood. And then this is a blush. This is where my blushes start. I am not sure the company of this blush, but oh my gosh, look how pretty this is. I absolutely love this blush. The name of it is... The name is Tickle, but I'm unsure of the company. I'll try to find it and link it down below for you guys because this is so pretty. And then I have more blushes over here. I have Buxom. This one is Breathless. And then I have NARS. Two NARS ones. This one is Sin. It's like a purpley, kind of like a purple glitter blush, but I absolutely love it. It's so pretty. And then here I have NARS Orgasm, of course, all-time favorite blush. Okay, and then the next blush is from the company Cargo, and it is in Miami Beach, and it looks like this. It's really pretty. It has like four different colors, and when you mix them all together, it looks really, really nice. This was actually like probably one of my first blushes. And then over here I have Lorac in the color Flaunt. And then I have a Sephora blush. This is in the color Apricot. And then I have two Laura Mercier ones. This one is in, this is actually an eyeshadow, but I use it as a blush because you can see that middle one is really pink. I really like how it looks as a blush and it's called Tiramisu. And then we have this Laura Mercier blush called Tropic Hues. Side, and I have one more blush, a few more highlighters, and some bronzers. So this blush, my boyfriend's mom actually got me. It is really, really pretty. It's by the brand Vintage. And it looks like this. They're so pretty. I absolutely love them. But yeah, um, the colors are Pink Coral and Flamingo. And then we have some more highlighters. I have the Casey Holmes and Smashbox Pearl Palette. I absolutely love this palette. It is gorgeous. And then I have the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlight. And then I have a Morphe pressed pigment that I use as a highlighter and it's called Powder Room. And then I have my bronzers. I have the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. It is one of my favorite bronzers. It is so pretty, if you guys can tell. I really like this bronzer. And then I have the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer Palette in Bronzed. I really love this one last summer, so I know I'm gonna be using it again a lot this summer. And then I have a random Sephora bronzer in the color Maldives, I guess? I think that's the name of it, Maldives, something like that. And it just looks like this, it's really pretty. It has a little hint of shimmer in it, which I really like in my bronzers for the summertime. And then, of course, we have our Benefit Hula Bronzer, and we also have the Bahama Mama from The Balm. And then moving to our eyes, I just have these. I got these from Michaels, and I use them on my eyes when I'm doing different creative looks. I actually just uploaded a look on Instagram using the pink and um, white crystals from this palette. So I'm really excited to use these more and get a little bit more creative. And then back here, we have more eyes. Over here, we have some individual ColourPop um, colors. This one is in the color Ibiza. And then this one's in the color Shark Attack. This one is in the color Lovely. Um, we have a MAC one. I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, this is soft brown. It's a really good transition color. And then we have Mittens. I love this color. And then this one is in the shade Puppy Love, and it has a paw print on it. I got this one when they were doing their charity um, with the rescues. They were donating their um, half of their proceeds or a percentage of their proceeds to a rescue shelter in um, California, which I absolutely loved If you, since you guys know I'm all about animal rescuing and shelters and animals and all that, so I had to get this. I think I actually got three more, and I gave them to family and friends because I just love the cause so much, but... Yeah, so this is that one. And then we have a random Wet n Wild one, Mega Eyes in the color Fine Wink. And then we have down here another MAC one. This is part of one of their um, limited edition collections. I think this is Lorelei. Yeah. And then we have some Benefit ones down here, some Urban Decay ones over here. And then over here is where I keep all of my glitters. I have two of the Stilla Magnificent Metals in the color Kitten Karma and Smoldering Satin. And then I have a NYX Liquid Crystal Liner in the color Crystal Silk. I'm excited to use this in more looks. 
And then I have all of my glitters. Right here I have a glitter from Kiko Cosmetics. It's the Pigment Loose Eyeshadow in... I don't know if it has a color on it. I don't know if this one has a color. It's just from Kiko Cosmetics. It's like a basic white. I got this as a dupe for the MAC. I think it's vanilla press pigment. And then I have a NYX glitter in the color 04. I don't know if they have names, if it's just numbers or names. Oh, I, this is copper. This is in the color copper. It's also 04 if you guys want to know. My nail is really bothering me. I hope it's not bothering you guys. <laughs> I'm like very anal when it comes to my nails. <laughs> and then I have the... Bulk, um, bulk glitters and I got the mini ones. This one's black copper. We have volcanic pearl, saber red, um, which one's this one? Golden eye. Uh, da, da, da. what's this one? Dragon scale jade and gunmetal blue. I also have a pink one, but I don't know where it is. It might be in my client kit. And then we have this one. I got this as a sample from iMats. It's the Lemonhead Los Angeles. I don't know what color it is. It doesn't say, but it's really pretty. I need to get more glitters from them because this one is gorgeous. And then moving on to the next drawer in here is where I have all of my eyelashes. I don't even have a way to keep these. I just throw them all in here and I just rummage through them when I um, do a look and I decide which ones I want to use. I have Cocoa Lashes. I have House of Lashes. These are... Nora Fairy, I have Iconic, I have Individual Lashes from Ardell. I want to start customizing some of my lashes, so that's why I got this. I have the Kiss 11s, I have the Carly Lashes from Velour, I have Tarte Lashes in Girl Boss, I have the Huda Lashes in Lana, I have Ardell Double Up. Wispies. I have more Tarte Lashes. This one's Center of Attention. Um, the Coco Lashes I have are Goddess, Dashin, Queen Bee, Stella, Goddess again, and Amore. And then at iMats, I got this from House of Lashes. And when I travel, I'm just going to start putting my lashes in here instead of bringing them in the box because it'll be a lot easier. And I thought this was really cute. Okay, and in this drawer right here, I have all, well, almost all of my hair products. This bin I got from Target. I have all of my clips, my big scrunchies that I wear at night so my hair doesn't get dented. The little blow dryer exchanges things. I have a teasing brush, all of my scrunchies, more scrunchies, bobby pins. Um, so yeah, and then over here I have my straightener, my blow dryer, and a lot of different brushes, my wooden brush, my straightening brush, so yeah. And then in the very last drawer here, I have more hair products. I also got this bin from Target. I have more hair products. I have my contact lens solution, a hair mask, some nail things and contact lens cases on the side, a dry shampoo, and my, all my curling iron stuff back here. This is my all-time favorite drying shampoo. It is the Batiste Dry Shampoo in Dark and Deep Brown. I'm going blonde in two weeks, so I'm going to have to upgrade this to a blonde one. But I love it. I also love this hairspray, the L'Oreal Lock It Weather Control Hairspray. Okay, and then coming over here to the other side of my vanity, I have all of my lip products and eyeliners in here. I didn't mean to color coordinate it, but it is kind of color coordinated. But over here, I just have some... Sephora lip stains it is 33. I absolutely love this. I think it's a dupe for Anastasia Beverly Hills stripped. And then I have another Sephora lip stain over here um, in 40, which is really pretty. I have a Tarte liquid lipstick in Bestie. I have under there, I have my Kylie lip liquid lip kits. I have every color, every old color that she came out with. I don't really have any of the new colors like Exposed and Bamboo and Malibu and all of them. I just have the throwbacks like Candy, Dolce, True Brown, Mary Jo. They're all in here. I have the Huda Beauty Trendsetter liquid lipstick. Haven't tried this yet. I just got it for the VIB sale, so I'm excited to try that out. I have some Stilla liquid lipsticks. Um, I have my NYX liquid lipsticks, the, Lix, um, the NYX lingerie, more Stilla, 
more Kylie under there. And then over here, I have the Jouer Skinny Dip um, Lip Topper. I have a dose of colors under there. This is stone. And then I have some Smashbox liquid lipsticks in the colors Stepping Out, Chill Zone, and Chew Grit. And then under here, I have Anastasia Beverly Hills and more Stilla. I have lip glosses and lipsticks. And then I have my Kat Von D and my Kylie Mary Jo. This one's Kat Von D. Um, this is Kat Von D Lolita. This is Kat Von D Bow and Arrow. This is Kat Von D Vampira. And this is Kat Von D Double Dare. I have another one under there somewhere. I don't know where it is, but yeah. And then we move over here and I have more eyeliners and I also have a brow product. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in dark brown. I have the NYX Vivid Brights um, eyeliner in vivid petal. I have my Tarte eyeliner. I have my Sigma eyeliner and they all just stay right here. I also got this from Walmart. Here I have all of my MAC lipsticks. These are oldies that I don't really use anymore. This one is in the color... This one's in styled in Sapia. It's really pretty. I remember when I got this color too. This one's a really nice brown. This one is one of my favorites. It is Whirl. I absolutely love this one. This one with strip down was my all-time favorite lip um, lip combo. This is also a really nice one too. It's Runner. I used to love this one. I remember I wore it for New Year's Eve one time. It's really pretty. It's like a dark red, but with a hint of brown. And then back here, I just have some more um, lipsticks. I have the Dose of Colors Poise. I have some ones from Kiko Cosmetics. I have one from um, Kat Von D. I have some Smashbox lip glosses. I have Lime Crime down there. So yeah, those are ones I just don't really use that much anymore. And then here I have all of my nudes. I have the Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipstick in... Melted Nude. I have some lip plumpers that work really well as lip glosses. I have more lip glosses, more lip glosses. I don't know how this one got in here because these are mostly nude, but yeah, I have another NYX one. Um, what else do I have under? I have Dose of Colors. So yeah, these are all like nudes, reds, and lip glosses in here. And then going to the next drawer, I have all of my larger palettes in here. As you can see, the first one is the Juvia's Place, the Mini Masquerade palette. I absolutely love this palette. I cannot wait to do a tutorial for you guys on it. As you can see, I already started playing with it. But I'm going to be doing a swatch first impressions and review video on it very, very soon. So be on the lookout for that. And then here I just have my custom Makeup Forever palette. And these all pretty much have um, Makeup Geek eyeshadows with a few Anastasia ones thrown in. And then I have a ton of Morphe palettes. I have the Morphe 35B, which is the really colorful palette. I have the 350 palette, of course. I absolutely love this one. My Holy Grail and my most used. I have the 35F palette, which is the fall palette. This was my first ever Morphe brush palette, and it is the Jaclyn Hill palette. And then I have the... 35C, which is another colorful palette. And then back here, I just have some BH Cosmetic palettes. I have the 120 color palette and the 88 color palette. These are really colorful. I use those for my Halloween looks. And then over here, I have some eyeshadow palettes that my boyfriend's mom got me again. I'm not sure of the company, but this palette is gorgeous. It reminds me of the Naked palette. Like, look how pretty. And it's actually more pigmented than the Naked palette. And then in the next drawer, I have more palettes. And I just set them up like this so I can see which ones they are when I'm rummaging through them. Start with the ones over here first. I have the Milani palette. This is Earthly Tones or El Earthly Elements palette. This is another one I'm going to be using for my all drugstore makeup tutorial. I have the Dose of Colors Baked Browns. This palette is so gorgeous, you guys. I haven't used it yet on my eyes, but I've been swatching it and it blends so beautifully and they're so creamy so i'm so excited to use it in a tutorial and then over here i have a custom z palette with just some highlighter and contour shades that i took out of their original palettes here i have the carly bible palette this is not the deluxe i haven't ordered the deluxe yet this is just the regular um older version and then over here i have the anastasia beverly hills and nicole guerrero glow kit i still have it in like its little case like i want to keep this as brand new as possible it's so pretty and then I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit. I have the other contour kit right here. 
I have the Juvia's Place Saharan palette. Saharan palette. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right, but look how pretty. Oh my gosh, you guys. So excited to use these in a tutorial. I already swatched them. If you head over to my Instagram, I did swatch both Juvia's Place palettes that I have, but I have not used them in a tutorial yet or given a review, like an official review. So I will be doing that in a YouTube video very soon. So be on the lookout for that. And then I have the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. I have the Amrezy Palette. Oh my gosh, that iridescent purple. I need to be using these palettes again. And then if we move down to the second to last drawer, in here I got this bin from Target also. And over here I just have my Crest Whitening Strips, some um, cotton balls, some things that I use my toner. I have an eyeliner pen uh, sharpener. I have my cleaning clear. I have my little mini razors, my makeup wipes, my mascara wands. My Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water, something from European Wax Center. I have my little head scratchy thing. This works wonders. I love it. And here I have all of my nail polishes. This is actually a chapstick, but I'm obsessed with owls, as you guys know. So I had to get it. It's from Forever 21. I just keep this guy in here. He's so cute. I have my Mario Badescu Drying Lotion, which, oh my gosh, you guys, highly recommend it. It works amazing i have my muddy body detox clay mask oh my gosh you guys this is my new holy grail i use this pretty much every night as you guys can see it's like almost empty i need to order a new one back there i just have some face masks face masks and nail polish remover and then in my very last drawer this is pretty much just uh i throw it in here drawer i have all of my special effects makeup that i use for halloween i also included all this in a vlog once so go check out the vlog i will link it down below if you want to see what kind of special effects makeup i use on halloween and in here i just have some stencils these are what i use for my swatches i'm going to start getting a little bit more creative with my swatches on instagram so i just keep the stencils for my swatches in here i have some stickers randomly my sigma brush cleaner these are my contacts and then under here i just have a bunch of um makeup bags that i use when i travel or if i need to bring makeup with me in my purse so i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys got some ideas of maybe some new products you wanted to try or some new palettes or anything like that if there's anything you think i should buy and try out let me know down below in the comments if there's anything you want to see on my channel any new videos or tutorials let me know also in the comments i have two weeks left of school so after those two weeks are over i will be filming a lot more i will be banging out vlogs tutorials fashion videos how to's i'm going to test out a whole bunch of new products i'm just starting a whole bunch of new things on my channel that i've never done before everything and anything i will be doing it so this summer is going to be really exciting i'm going to be getting out a whole bunch of new videos i just hit 600 subscribers so i'm really really excited about that thank you guys all so much for subscribing to me and bearing with me through these um last few months that i haven't been on a lot i've still been gaining subscribers even though i haven't been on a lot on youtube so i just want to thank you guys so much for still subscribing to me and supporting me it honestly means so much like i'm so excited that i hit 600 i've been on youtube for almost two years now it'll be two years in august so the fact that i'm at 600 just blows my mind already like I'm so happy. I will be doing a giveaway once we get to 1,000 subscribers. So once we get to 1,000, I will be doing a giveaway. So be on the lookout for that. Um, keep subscribing so we can hit 1,000 so I can do this giveaway because I'm really excited to do my first giveaway. I've never done one before, but they're really fun and really exciting. So I'm so excited. I'm going to be start shopping for products soon because we hit 600 subscribers in like two months. So I can only imagine what these next two months will bring. Hopefully we hit 1,000, so I'm going to start shopping now for the products set up for the giveaway. I know I'm probably rambling, but I'm like so excited for these next few weeks coming up. I have so much planned for you guys. I have a notebook full of ideas of different videos, so this is a really long outro, but I just wanted to update you guys. So once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And if you really like me and my videos, don't forget to click the little bell on the bottom so you can be notified every time I upload. So until my next video, I will see you guys later. Bye!